Morning. Morning. I'm Miss Joanne with Miss Valerie from Church by the Sea. Happy to be with you again, sharing stories. And we're looking forward to the one today about Sam, possibly about the age that you are, and became such a great helper. And he was helping a priest named Eli that was a lot older. It's kind of like me. My daughter's helping me now. <laughs> and she, how wonderful it is to have someone helping you. So he was Eli's helper. Let's begin with a prayer. Hold your hands. And open your heart. Dear God, thank you for filling the world with beautiful sounds. Please help us to listen with our ears and hearts as we try to be of help to others. Amen. Amen. The story today, as I said, is about listening, something we do all our lives. We listen when we're little tiny babies. We listen when we're old, old people. Listening is so important to how we enjoy our life. That's how we learn. That's how we live. That's how we love and enjoy our lives together. And it is how we help others. Because if we don't listen, we can't pass things that we learn that help our lives be good. This story helps us learn how even as children, even as a child like Samuel, you can be a great helper. You can be a great message speaker for all the things that you learn on how to be happy with each other. I think you'll enjoy the story. So let's listen to how Samuel becomes a good helper. A long time ago, there was a young boy named Samuel. Samuel lived in a sanctuary, and that's kind of like a church. And he lived there with a priest named Eli. Samuel was like a helper for Eli because Eli was old and couldn't see well and needed a lot of help. Every day, Samuel would light the lamps in the sanctuary. Every day, Samuel would sweep the floors. And every day, Samuel would help prepare the meals. Samuel learned a lot about God from Eli. Eli was a very wise person. One night, after Samuel had helped Eli settle down into his bed, he lay down on his own mat and tried to go to sleep. And suddenly, he heard a voice. Mm -hmm. Samuel. Samuel, Samuel quickly went to Eli's room. Here I am. Did you call me? He said to Eli. The old man, <coughs> he coughed and woke up. Oh, I didn't call you. It must have been a dream, he said to Eli. Go back to bed. And so Samuel walked back and climbed into his bed and tried to sleep again. But soon, Samuel heard the voice again. Samuel, Samuel. Surely it was Eli this time. So Samuel marched back to Eli's room. The old priest was snoring. Here I am, I heard you call, Samuel shouted. Eli woke up. Now Eli was confused. Eli knew that he hadn't called Samuel. And so he said, Samuel, I do not need you. I did not call you. Please go back to bed. So Samuel did as Eli had said. But this time Samuel's head had barely touched the pillow when he heard the voice again. Samuel, Samuel. Samuel did as Eli said, but he heard the voice. And now Samuel was worried. Samuel jumped out of bed and ran quickly into Eli's room. When Samuel reached Eli's room, he found that the priest was already awake. Eli said nothing for a moment. And then Eli's eyes began to shine. Samuel said, I did not call you, but I think I know who did. 
give that in and say, here I am, God, I'm listening. What do you want me to do? Now go back and lie down. Samuel returned to his bed and lay as quiet as a mouse, hardly breathing, to case he missed the sound of God's voice. And then Ham Samuel heard it. Samuel heard God call his name. Samuel, Samuel. Samuel listened. He listened. And then Samuel answered. Here I am, God, I'm listening. What do you want me to do? And God spoke to Samuel about things to come. He knew that Samuel would be God's listener, God's messenger. And that's what you can do, just as Samuel, a young boy, became the messenger. So be a good listener, as you often are, and figure out ways that you can be the messenger of good things, good things that are happening. And Ms. Fowry has a project for you that shows you some interesting ways to be a good messenger. You know, I'm curious because I wonder what God said to Samuel. We, we can only imagine in what Samuel heard right. as he isn't going to tell us. Oh, I, I suppose that we all have ideas. And I wish we were all in class together because I would love to hear all the children give us an idea of what Samuel heard. And, uh, and I think, uh, you know, we would have some different uh, ideas, but you could talk about it at home with your uh, family uh, and see what, you know, they think was uh, what God said. I, I don't know the words and we never will, but I, I, somehow I know that God's words were kind, loving, and maybe thanking Samuel for taking such good care of Eli. But it, everything that comes from God would always be, I'm sure, kind or loving. But, you know, how do we get messages from God? Does he have secret codes that we all have to understand? Uh, I, perhaps he sends them through, you know, thought messages when we are quiet and, and we have all those ideas in our, in our uh, minds. Maybe some of those are messages that God is sending to us. And also when we listen to other people talking, you know, their ideas and, and maybe some of those uh, came to them from God and by telling us, they're sharing them and being a, a messenger. So this means that by passing on and messaging and uh, keeping, we share, <laughs> spread God's loving word. Sorry, there was a little bark in the We're distance. From another messenger. <laughs> so today I have a craft um, for you to make, which um, is a little reminder <laughs> of uh, being a good listener. Okay, this is my, I don't know, listening uh, <laughs> reminder. <laughs> and Teddy's talking. Shh, Teddy. Shh. Shh. <laughs> and this is another one that says, I am talking. So I have two. Two little reminders, little puppets that you could put on your hand if you if you want. Because I think so. Here's my little listening puppet. He's got very big ears, and um, across him it says, um, "I am listening." And this one has got much smaller ears, but a big mouth, <laughs> and it says, "I am talking." You know, because sometimes. Um, we need, you know, I want to talk, I want to speak, and, and people aren't listening to me. So sometimes I think I want this puppet, which says, I'm talking, and then the person I'm trying to tell him should do this and tell me, I'm listening. Because so how many times do you hear somebody say, are you listening to me? So, <laughs> so I have a little pooch here that's listening to me. Um, 
Okay. And then you need some glue and you need some scissors. And you need uh, colored papers to cut out the pieces. And then you can create your own puppets. I, I think you're much more creative than I am. So I think, you know, the idea is for you and um, you need the glue and then you put the wool on. This is the wool that you would put on his head. And then, um, you, you know, if you've got colored papers, just cut out two little blue uh, eyes for him. I put a little bit and then I just, you can use a marker to do his mouth. And then I, I put him a little shirt on to cover up the paper cup a little bit. And then I, I gave him a big bow tie or something. And, I, and then across it, I wrote, I am listening. And, you know, your mommy and daddy are big sisters. And, and if you can't do all the words, you, they will certainly help you. And I just kind of made him some big ears. I cut them out. Um, I don't know. I didn't cut out the ears for you, but, and then these were the little bows that I cut out and then, you know, just had my glue and I stuck, I stuck them on. So I think you could easily do uh, your listening puppet. And then for the talking puppet, it was the same really, except I gave smaller ears and then I put on a big mouth. <laughs> and then on the mouth, I put, I am talking. <laughs> You know, I was also thinking, how much time okay, do we spend talking? How much time do I spend listening? I, at first I thought, I think I, 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 I don't my in the house. So if I'm alone in my house, I, I, I'm thinking and listening. And I think um, it's so okay. listening to what's going on in your mind is important. That is very important, you know, because when you're by yourself, think of all the cute things that go on in your mind that you're listening to, and then you can share those with people. So these are little fun puppets today. If you don't have any paper cups, um, I think his ears got in the way. <laughs> um, you could use a little paper plate and, you know, you do the same face and the same idea on a paper plate. And then you could just um, hold that, at the, at the, you know, and make it into a little puppet that way. This one, this one is nice because he sort of fits on, on my um, hand. So that's your craft for today and I have uh, little angels which I don't quite know it's very difficult when you are doing it in somebody else's home I think yeah but anyway I had the two angels that I did have today were harmony which is like getting along happily with one another and uh, the other one was um, being thoughtful being clarity uh, was a hard word I thought but clarity means you know you thinking about things that people say to you and deciding if you think that's good or if you think that's not so good and I remember a few years ago a lot of school children um, they wore little bracelets um, and on it, they, they used to say, what would Jesus say? And if you ask them a question, they would touch the bracelet and think for a minute of what would Jesus say? And I, I thought that was maybe a good way of thinking before we, you know, start talking or saying things. Think for a minute. Would Jesus say something like that? Oh, no, he would not. Would, would Jesus? Say, oh, yes. Because everything that Jesus did or said was loving. He was always kind and it was always loving. And so I think maybe this week I'm really going to ask myself, or oh, every time I have to make a choice, 
and try and follow his lead. And those you know, are like the angels that I chose because I thought that Samuel showed such responsibility and he thought yes. he was there to be helpful to Eli and he was very conscientious about everything he did. So he showed great responsibility. And the other angel was sort of like what you chose, uh, intention. He mm -hmm. intended, all of his thoughts and his actions were to take care of Eli and to spread the word about mm -hmm. how Eli lives and the good things that they know and things that God said to him. So those are very similar to the things that your angels chose. So I think so. I'm sorry, but uh, mm -hmm. I had uh, mine have sort of flown away for, for maybe they're busy, but I'll help them. They're probably yeah. playing with Teddy because he's <laughs> and always love and kindness. <laughs> love and kindness are, are sort of those all our angels today would be yeah. would be loving and, and giving kindness to everybody. So and we look yeah, forward so, to oh, a, yeah. a good week of having these responsibility feelings and intentions of what are we doing. And as Valerie says, thinking while people are talking and listening and sharing what you hear from others, which is great. So we hope Absolutely. you- Absolutely, yeah. Week. We look forward to next week and another good story. All to do with being loving. Exactly, that's <laughs> this the thing. I think, you know, I, I think we, we forget how important listening is sometimes. We really want to talk and chatter away. Exactly. But listening is perhaps more important than talking sometimes. So let's all be good listeners this coming week. Yeah. So let's just say our closing prayer. Thank you, God, for all that you have given us and our ability to listen and talk to you. Let me listen to you and follow your advice as I try to live as Jesus taught us. Amen. Amen. Happy week, everyone. Have a happy week. Healthy week. Keep safe and healthy and happy. Right.